Hello everyone, this is Jesus, and today we're going to be talking about something very near and dear to my heart, which is malware on Linux. So yeah, uh, malware, right? But what exactly is malware? I mean, it's just any software that's malicious, really. Um, that means that we need our malware to do something specific. And in this case, we're going to use it for farming. Farming is when you've infected a computer and you decide to say, hey, when you type in this domain <clears throat> or try to access this URL, instead of going to the real IP address of the server, you're going to go to an IP address I, the attacker, control. That's what farming is. So it's malware that affects the DNS of the client, traditionally using the Etsy hosts file. And that's the way we're going to do it. So the first thing you would do is have some domains that you want to override. So that means if they go to any of these domains, they're going to get your website instead of the real thing. We could say like google.com, you know, www. No, no, we don't have to say www because we'll just make the script do that for us. And I don't know, YouTube. And I will, sorry, I gotta resize my screen a little bit. We'll say youtube.com. Okay. And what else is there? Uh, Facebook.com. Why not? You want to steal everything, right? And then you need an IP you're going to send them to. This could be anything. I'm just going to put something fake here for now. And all we have to do is, oh, open the hosts file. That's pretty important. So we'll say with open Etsy hosts. This is found somewhere else on Windows, but on any Unix-like system, it's going to be Etsy hosts. We'll open it in append mode as the hosts file. Then we will go through each domain. And oh, it's important to add a new line. In case Etsy hosts doesn't end in a new line, you'll actually add your first line to the already existing last line. So just to mitigate that, the first thing I usually do is whenever I'm editing Etsy hosts in this way, is I just add a new line. So for each domain in the domains, we're going to write two things. First, we're going to write, um, we're going to write the domain and then the IP. And then we're going to do www.thedomain. Um, you know, it is common to use that subdomain, but I'm mostly doing this because browsers actually add it automatically a lot of the time, which is just unnecessary and annoying. I hate that they do that. <laughs> like, it's just as likely to be wrong as not including it. Most websites work both ways anyway, so I don't see it as very necessary. Um, and there we go. We have very simple malware, but the important thing is, does it actually work, right? So let's go ahead and try it out. Let's say sudo, because Etsy host is protected from editing, so I'll just pretend that we... Uh, we rootkit at this person. <laughs> um, pseudo Python 3, farming anti malware, a super secret password. And now let's tail Etsy hosts. And let's see, I don't know if you can see that, but, but it totally worked. So we tail Etsy hosts. And yeah, you can see we have Google, www.google, CNN, that was something I was, uh, I was doing some programming earlier and I was just testing my Etsy host for something unrelated. But yeah, here we go, it all came out. So now if we were to browse to any of these domains, it's not gonna work. We're gonna go to 255.255.255.255 instead. And that's really bad. That's really bad because that would be an IP controlled by the attacker. And what do we do about that, right? Um, is there any defense against this? Yeah, yeah, there's absolutely a super easy way to defend against farming. So you're a Linux user, you, uh, you don't have Windows Defender to protect you, you're, you're wilding it out in the wild, wild internet all by yourself. What you're gonna want is the anti-farming extension, okay? Um, the name of it right here, anti-farming extension. It's a Chrome extension. Uh, you know what, I have it installed right now. I'll show you how it works. Okay, well that didn't go the way. Sometimes Google is, is, is uh, I had Google with the wrong one, but Google is currently in my cache. So that's not gonna, let's try Reddit. Sometimes it notices, I think I also did Reddit, so. 
Just have to wait for it to finish loading for it to execute. Okay, well, my things are all cached, so it's not going to notice that they're failing. But let's see how I can make one of these things fail. No, the DNS system is just beautiful right now. Chrome has a beautifully crashed thing. Well, you can't see this anyway because I'm not showing you. But the point is, I have actually have this extension installed, so I was hoping to find something that would that would break. But but uh, engineering is just too good, and so I didn't get to show you. But but when you are being farmed, it just has like a little warning pop up saying, "Hey, this isn't necessarily a farming attack, but it doesn't seem good." Uh, Maybe you should uh, maybe you should see what's going on. Oh, here it is. It popped up. Okay. I'm going to try to change what screen you're seeing to point to Chrome instead. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, I guess it won't let me because we're already... Oh, you know what I can do? I can take a screenshot and load the screenshot into a... Here we go. There we go. Okay, I got my screenshot, but it's super bizarrely small. Okay. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. The anti-phishing warning. Okay. So we have anti-phishing warning. The site's actual IP address, blah, 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 does not match the records on Google's DNS servers. This does not mean it's a farming page, but often sites with complex backends, often sites, they end up with these bugs, but be extra careful. So let me make sure you can see that. Yeah, there you go. That's the anti-farming warning we were looking for. And all it means is that something farmy is happening. So that's that extension. I highly recommend it. And I will add a link in the description so that you can actually download that and install it on Chrome or Brave or whatever Chromium-based browser you might be using. It's not available for Firefox, but I think it would work on Firefox because there's a lot of compatibility between Firefox add-ons and Chrome extensions nowadays. Anyway, there you go. That's farming. That is a malware that we wrote that you can, uh, you can run on Linux to farm people, to get them to go to add things, to do whatever you want. Uh, please use it ethically. And I'll link to the code as well so you can study this. Thanks a lot for your time. Bye-bye.